how's it going guys welcome back to my channel my name is your baby and today we're going to be continuing on the quarry so yeah last time we left off we were jacob we got hold by our friend who was emma and she did some whole ass shit to her friend um abigail she kissed her crush which was really fucked up but we're gonna see what happens now with jacob and emma at the boathouse let's go if you see me sweating, it's because it's freaking warm in uh, the room I'm in. It's a fun game. Stop by the door. Oh, Shit, like a candle. And it makes me scared to breathe. And if I fall, then I'll be falling in your feet. Love's a blade. And it's cutting. I tried to set the stuff, the. the, the I'm talking and all that, the music a little bit higher because I noticed it's been low in my other videos. He's crying. He's crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> she kept telling you that y'all were done, but she. Oh, here she comes. Go away. Go away. You've done enough damage to this man. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you're done that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess... Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Uh, to him, it's more. He coffee yeah. leaves. No, no. I know. I just. You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. Just, I can't believe you. You fucking Frenched him. <laughs> you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French? Are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. Mm -hmm. you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? Uh-oh. You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. She's like, no, what'd you mean by that? Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Still teasing him. Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not... White. Oh. Okay. Oh man. Got my pillow. Don't mind me. My desk be hurting my arms sometimes, so I have a pillow here. Like that. Uh uh. Ugh, it is just in the water. Ugh, all that stuff floating around it. Ugh. Oh shit, we did take that, huh? All right, Jacob. Ooh, Terry a card. I mean, he said he wanted one more night to change her mind. But she did all that, and then just for him. Huh. It's not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. So yeah, like he wanted one more night to try to change her mind, but all she really did was just like, oh yeah, I mean we can sleep together. I mean I just tongued another dude in front of you, you know. Let's just look past that. But they are broken up, I guess. But they're still. 
Not really check smart. Check it and thack it, huh? Check it and thack oh, it. Well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is thack it? Thack it. Thack it. Whoa. All right, we ain't moving fast enough. Some gonna jump out at us, huh? I don't know, Jacob. You sabotaged the car and got us stuck here. Cause you got your booty call hurt. Well, your summer fling hurt. Oh dear. Oh dear. The fool. Hmm. Oh. That's the island. We're looking for. No. Oh. Someone out there? No, duh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. My problem is, why are y'all getting upset and running out in the middle of the damn woods? And there ain't no actual adults there either. Like, hey. y'all just that safe, huh? Feel that safe? What are these numbers? Hmm. <laughs> it was creepy. There ain't no towels. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. Air dry. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You did. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Don't tell me what to do. In my opinion, you ain't worth the towels anyways, ma'am. All right, come on. Let's get, we already looked at that. Damn, why he walking so hard? Gosh. My eardrum. How she gets... You stripped fast. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... Uh, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because... You see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come uh -huh. save me. <laughs> ask Nick. Yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm ignoring you. Yeah. You. Where that dead body is. No, I don't touch my foot. <laughs> Got ya. The hell, man. Emma's getting bored of the. We, we getting bored of you. Goodbye. Oh, okay, okay. Now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, Twitch. Oh, stop being a. Uh, how? You did some whole shit. No, I don't want to splash her. Leave me alone. I don't want to splash her. She ain't worth it. Wait, what? What the heck? Okay. Oh, she just floating there. Dick move. Yo mama. Sentimental, I don't want this to end flirt. He gonna send for her either way, huh? Okay, sentimental then, I guess. I don't like the don't options. Hmm. I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. Oh, you know what I mean, like... I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. So well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. Aww. <laughs> okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? He's so how about sweet. That? He really wants to make it work right. on business with her. Hey! She you rude? Going? Come on! I mean, what do you... Catch her up. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Oh, shit, the road over here. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, hell. You should have got in the water with it. Dive in or help Ab. Should be all right. Let's try to get the thing, because we need it to start the car, right? Oh, shit. Jacob? Ugh, dick. He went in the water. She in the water. How you didn't see him? He's literally, literally, like. Uh-uh. Why? Why is there freaking things? Why is those around the things? That's stupid. And now we're caught in it. There it is. Why is it just grab or surface? Uh, let's let's grab it. Try to. Oh. Oh. Got it. I got it. Oh. Loaded corpse. Oh shit. No, no, don't pull it. Detangle it. Cause pull it is gonna tangle it in more. Oh, we got out. Did we get it? You almost died there, buddy. You're okay, though. Did we lose it? Ooh. Werewolves. Werewolves. Clearly howling in the back. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, messy, was it just man. the nudge that Abby needed? What? You're an evil genius. Right. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Hi. Okay. Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast, you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Wow. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. You looking? <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or? Oh, she interrupted everything. Sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? He don't this like way. that. Come on. Somebody is scared. Abby, help! What is Please. that? Help him! Where is he? Impatient. What happened? Worried. Uh. Where's Nick? I... Are you gonna tell me? Go after Nick. Go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got this. He's the only man. I want him to do it. Well, besides Dylan. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. She ain't even tell us where he is, so we just gotta blindly. Okay. Find him. Find Nick. Doesn't tell us where he is. Okay. Oh. And he ain't got no flashlight either. He's just running in the dark. Shortcut. Ooh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. 
Dude, by the time we get there, he gonna be ripped into shreds. It's so hot in here. Gosh. Um, we'll take another shortcut. Got it. Got it. Oh gosh. Oh, why he sound like that? Uh oh. Shit. Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Exactly. Why you grabbing him like that? Stop! Stop! I'll shoot. Dude. Oh god. Got him. Dude. I shot him. How was he walking? Not... No, how was he walking? Not... He just got shot in the chest. What's that? Hey, can you walk? Jack, gotta go. Come on, come on. Listen to him. You gotta go. Let's go, let's go. Damn. I shot him in the chest. How are you still walk? He walked away like, oh, that wasn't shit. I shot him in the chest and he kept walking. Okay. Okay. Where well, Jacob? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, Kinda late, <laughs> aren't you? Why didn't you put your clothes back on? And he don't even know where he's going either. Oh, Jesus. Half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? So you're telling me you're that in shape, but you're out of breath that fast? Well, it depends on how far he ran, I guess. So. What is that? Uh, that sounds like a um, a boar. Okay. That's obviously a boar. Oh, I don't. Why would you call out? We're not gonna do that because what are they gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm here. No. No. Oh no! I would be stuck. I wouldn't be able to do that. Game over for me. Look, he's still walking. Where the bullet hell is that, buddy? I don't. I'm scared. Cause oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Hold on. If you can. If you can sh get shot with a shotgun and walk away like it ain't shit, I don't want to fuck with him. I'm just saying, I don't want to fuck with him. Look, that's oh, an indestructible man. What the fuck are you doing? Don't, don't kill him. Let us, let us go. You a bitch. His, the bullet wounds are gone. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Okay. I'm not. Nope. I'm not going to do nothing to piss this man off. 
Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. That's Stop. obviously blood. Help. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. He's sauteing us. Marinating us. Where are you off to now, girly? Why he walk like that? Oh, he left us alone. What the fuck? What the fuck? You should have kept your clothes on. Sorry. It, it was a boy. Ooh. We're back. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky. Beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. Hmm. The tower. Hmm. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yeah. Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. Ooh. So which is it? Choose. Um, let's let's do the tower. We'll see that one. What that one is? Ooh, the music. Oh. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Okay. I'm having very a lot of fun. Okay. So, Emma's gonna get sliced and diced, huh? If we do something wrong, I'm guessing. That was horrible. It was... It it was, I, I, I don't even don't know what panic. it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? That's a good idea. She's good at drawing, so shit. Okay. Damn. Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? Super out of it, man. We need shot? to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Right? A werewolf. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's Abby. It's obvious. Hey, hey, she's okay, <laughs> dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Dude, look high. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Uh, Oh fuck! Look at that! Oh fuck. shit! That oh. black stuff—that's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Yeah, yeah. Probably like stop the bleeding at least. Uh, sorry. Damn. Mmm. Yeah, like apply pressure to stop to try to stop the bleeding, or he'll bleed out. 
You're okay? It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. What? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. With what? What? <laughs> he said what? <laughs> You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. <laughs> Dylan didn't appreciate that. I'm sorry. nothing it was probably nothing yeah but is it gone yeah you better run oh. very brave all right so uh lodge is sounding pretty good right about now yeah mm -hmm. See something. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Ooh. I'm here to save you. It's a good thing we didn't shoot though, huh? Eh. <laughs> Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Mm. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. You should put your clothes on. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Questioning what happened to you. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right. Okay, so, like I was saying, okay, I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could, from the lake. Yeah, Damn. and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm <laughs> hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete. Comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Yeah. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. Mm. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. That bottle? Ew. Yeah. Oh, super fucked up. Mm. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, yes. no, no, no. Um, one of the, one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got <laughs> lost on the way to practice, and it was, yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured Why would it was one of the catchers that? that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, because it was like all... Oh, bloaty and gross. Ew. Something's not right. Well, yeah, obviously. Why the quiet? I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, I use a gun? You gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you uh -oh. trying to piss me off? Uh -oh. No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. She's not your girlfriend. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. What is the. Why are you fighting over a gun? Let go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I'm so. Hey! No. We're not doing that. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. It's not the You're time. acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob. We're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. Yeah. There's someone around here. <laughs> uh, Ryan! Sorry. 
This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Why don't y'all stay together? That would make more sense. We need to get back to the lodge. Yeah. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah. But yeah, I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. I mean, shit. She is by herself, though. But... Why would you split up? Okay, I'm gonna see what tonight brings. So she's on the island. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. Hmm. And it was here on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. She really said that. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. He didn't storm off though. You know what, sorry, I'm venting. Oh, wait. Explore venting. At the fire. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> okay. Can we go back? Probably a card or something down here. That's a bright ass flashlight on her phone. Uh oh. Is that you, Jacob? That's an old man. What? What? What was that? Okay. Why, why is it so squeaky? Oh, I was right. Look at that. All right. The magician. The music is creepy as shit, dude. I mean, she swam away from him. But he... He... And clearly, like, she was still in the water when he ran off to go help Abigail... Literally, she could have seen him because she was just. This island, island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Mm. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It was all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, hmm. you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, um... That looks creepy. But, like, being up there, we'll be able to see a lot more stuff. I'm gonna go up there. Let's go up there. Okay, yeah. moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. <laughs> don't worry, the kid was fine. 
I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really want to be wandering a random little island by myself at night, especially. Why is she walking so hard? You don't even got no boots on. I was going to say why she ain't got her clothes on, but she did leave them at the boathouse. All right. Let's go. I remember, Jacob did see something in the... the um, whatever the fuck is it? The treehouse. There was something, obviously, this in the window. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're going to blow your tots. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Annoyed. Compassionate. I'm sorry, but being a bitch is obviously her character. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a in a wedding dress or something like that. <laughs> Look, he actually considering it. And what if he's like, but oh, hey, let's do it. Here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. She does that, and he's like, okay, bet, let's do it. Oh, that's the zip line. Is that what she was talking about? I don't think we could do anything with that, to be honest. Okay, here we are. Hey, okay, come on. You take it forever to get up over here. Those are keys. Oh, look. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those. I'm sorry, officer. I've no idea what you're talking about situations so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there how does she know there are police car keys and here we are as promised one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse in another world perhaps young jacob and i would settle down here and play house together honey i'm home what's that now i forgot the children's bedtime well now, that's a fine how do you do. Okay. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. I feel like we shouldn't open that. <sighs> Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Oh. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Don't 
open that. Why would you? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Uh, spray? Bear spray. Ugh. Oh! That light didn't do anything. Oh shit. Okay. Got it. Got it. We got it. You did see something in there, huh? Um, spray. What the fuck? Got it. window right there to get through, dude. Question is some game logic here. Dylan. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. They don't like you either. Ooh, another card. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. <laughs> we'll come meet you. Copy that. Hmm. Caution. I hope they're gonna be okay. Let's be optimistic. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Why? It's creepy. <sighs> Uh-oh. Where are you going? I, I... I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. How would you follow it? No. That would, that would freak me out. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. That's good news. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? 
We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Him. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Um, yeah, I mean... If we call the cops, then they won't believe us. But if we're I mean, what if there's other options? Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? help. Yeah. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. There you go, yeah. Yeah. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> okay. Poor Dylan. Poor Dylan. I think he just is like, he doesn't really know. Like... What's wrong? Dead. No. Suspicious. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're <laughs> about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. How? Okay. You try the hang-up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? <laughs> Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. I love him. He's so funny. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <laughs> Aggressive, you gotta be crazy, Tom. Like, you gotta be crazy, dude. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. Mm -hmm. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? <laughs> or your whole head? Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Oh. Yeah, let him keep it. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? <sighs> Maybe it was the bears. <laughs> Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. <laughs> so, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that, uh cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> oh, for real, like, like, dude. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Does she need it, aggressive? Does she need it? Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in That's the lodge, true. we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the <laughs> gun, man. We'll give her a gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. That's nasty. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. <laughs> my ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
He appreciates your decision. Am I interrupting something? Yes. You are. She is, though. They're having a moment. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Aww. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. <laughs> must protect Dylan and Ryan at all costs. It's an absolute must. Okay, come on. Oh shit, yeah. Emma. She's so in there, dude. Girl, you better get a move on. I was gonna say, that thing wouldn't have been able to hold that big old monster that long. Oh shit, that's from the Terriot card. Why is it so loud? Let's do it slow. Slow. Because if you're quick, it's going to make all that noise. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Keep going slow. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. that close to getting killed. Now you're all wet again. Oh. That sucks. Why do they make it so dramatic for like just a little scene like that? Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> a time again, is it? Mm hmm. Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician. <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yes. Choose one. Choose wisely. Oh, the magician. I like how she talks, so like riddles. Oh. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. So mad. She's so mad at at me. What I do? <laughs> all right. All right. Noise. 
Okay. We've been recording for a minute. Um, yeah. A lot. It's like a lot's going down now. But um, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed my video of the quarry. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.